Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato, and this is Acropolis, the Archaic Age. Um, let's jump right back into it and see what we want to build. Our city is coming along very, very, very nicely indeed. Um, we've got pretty much... We've got the resources to build pretty much whatever, uh, whatever we want to at the moment. And I don't think that we're actually super desperate for anything right now, on the whole. Everything is uh, is pretty good. Hey, 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 a technological advancement, poetry patronage, local focus, residence, and sculpture studio. Well, in order to get our, whatever it's called, our ambition, we need to have um, Apollonis Village to level, develop to level 5 and have at least two sculpture studios. So we can at least get on with the two sculpture studios as we wait for the village to reach level 5. Um, I'm going to go and have a quick little look at the concepts page. Because that local focus, poetry patronage, this concept would take plus seven respect, plus one state cost. The local focus allows two areas to be focused at the same time. No, I'm looking for a focus that will help us grow our cities. And I don't know if there is actually something that will allow us to do that. I suspect that there might not be. But, uh... Oh, here, this, this one, Rural Development. That is exactly what we need. Uh, we also need to embrace Thalassocracy. Thalass Thalassocracy? That's something else that we need to embrace. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I did actually confirm with the developer that it was currently bugged that the administration center uh, didn't work. Uh, I'm going to demolish it, but the problem is I am not sure... I'm not sure if it is actually going to allow me to rebuild it and allow me to have the uh, admin points. It's just speculation at the moment. Um, so what do we need for an admin center? Also, let's bump that up to like five. There we go. Um, for an admin center, we need 200 build points, 300 drachmas. So we will get it. The problem is, though, is that our trade deals, whilst we've got them signed up, they're not exactly super profitable at the moment. Um, yeah, okay. Let's modify this so we sell one wine and we only buy one pottery. I don't want to import too much pottery at the moment. And also, I'm conscious of the fact that we want to try and get some more money. Uh, we want to get some more money and some more build points. And the way that we can do that is through money because we can buy build points with money and then we can... Uh, fine. Uh, yeah, we can buy build points with money, so we can just buy straight build points with money, and then we can buy admin ability if we spend money and build points. So, we're going to do exactly that, but first of all, we're going to try to rebuild this admin center. Yeah. Oh, and the sculpture studio. We we should get we should get on these. Um, speaking of sculpture studios, before I go and do that, I think it's, yeah, here. This is level 3, so we got Apollonis, which is level 3, so a little bit, a little bit of growth to go, but not too far away, all things considered. Quite nice. So we need 200 build points. Okay, well, we're almost there anyway, that's fine. And um, whilst we're waiting for that, let's sort of talk briefly about perhaps going to war, because I am conscious of the fact that we, I do believe we have an ally. Yep, here we go. Tinos, Tinos, Tinos is our ally. Um, yeah, we're 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 good, all things considered. Uh, we're good, so maybe we should try and we should try and attack some more people. Sif, Sif, Sifnos, Sifnos, Milos, Ios has got two allies. We're probably not going to attack in there. We basically just want to find someone who has not very many allies whatsoever. Okay. Speaking of not many allies whatsoever, let's try and build this administration center right in there. Sure, that will take something like ten years to build because that's just the way that uh, that's just the way that they operate. That's fine. We can wait that long. Um, if I was to build a sculpture studio, which I am going to do, what does it consume? It consumes two marble. Okay. So our domestic supply is six, but we're exporting five at the moment. We're exporting five to... Great. What was... Uh... What do you give me? You give me food. Oh, that's great. That's good. Uh, level four as well, actually. That's pretty darn good. 
Um, yeah, so a sculpture studio, very much possible. However, it is going to consume two marble, which means that we're no longer going to have, you know, a positive amount of marble, so to speak. So we'll have to sort of maybe scale back our trade somewhat, which is not something that I really want to do, considering that it's a really, really profitable route. Uh, it's the route to, to, well, I say our ally. It's an area that we conquered. Uh, a large merchant ship was recently lost at sea. Not a single member of the crew survived. Uh, the morning is noticeable in the streets and the tragic events on everyone's lips. The state isn't exactly expected to do anything, but it did. Uh, plus one restrict, minus 20 drachmas. Yeah, absolutely. It's free, uh, free, publi free publicity. Whoops, that was the wrong thing. Sculpture studio. Let's get a sculpture studio right over here. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It actually worked this time. That's great. The, that means the bug is fixed. That is absolutely incredible. That is incredible news. We've got eight admin points, which is, I mean, firstly, just truly phenomenal. Um, it means that we can start selling off some of the some of the excess some of the excess nonsense that we that we need to sell off which is of course going to make us much more profitable okay we're fine for wine no we're not we're not fine for wine or pottery let's readdress that fine cool and we'll build another sculpture studio when we have the opportunity to do so gives us a little bit of respect gives us a little bit of income must say i'm not overly bothered by it but hey ho we're also going to adopt the rural development concept. Takes five years to remove. Uh, plus one trade route, plus three state cost. Yeah, fine. Rural development. Let's get. Let's get that. It's going to cost. It's going to cost. It's going to cost four um, admin points. But I believe that that is probably worth it. You know, all things considered, this this administration center, or the administrative center, should I say? It's uh, it's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. We're about to see. Uh, Igarez, expand, homeless philosopher, wise man wandering the countryside, seeking a place to call home. He was once high standing in his own pulse, but decided to leave. Um, sure, I'll take that. That's really nice. Speaking of tech pro progression, what are we going to hit next? Ah, temples, modest temple, grand temple, and a stoa. Beautiful. Uh, and stoa, area upgrade, massive fortification, unique building the dial costs okay fine um let's invest in technology i know that we do technically need build points and we've not got that many build points coming in but that is that is fine uh you're level three apollonis is level three which is what we really care about that's very very good indeed um we're maxing out our trade routes are there any more profitable trade routes for us maybe maybe i'm not sure um but that's no biggie ah i've got a solution for our marble problem right because our marble is of course decreasing why don't we just buy some marble in it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world but we've got that supply there so we might as well use it a previously unremarkable man during the last few months has got a lot of attention for his con controversial opinions about how the government should be run having traveled extensively between Greek polis and barbarian islands, he's come with quite radical ideas. Ideas that are now discussed openly in our city has made several influential members of society regard him as a nuisance. Ideas like that might be dangerous. Don't worry so much. Don't worry so much. We're a, we're a, we're an, we're an open society here. Goodness me! Can I just build a, build another studio, please? There we go. Get that rotated round. Build that right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And with that, we're probably going to need to address our marble issue somewhat. So we get... We get basically 1.4. Get 1.4 for a marble here. Oh, this idiot I am. I hate doing that. I hate clicking that button. That's <laughs> really very, very silly. Um, at least I know where it is. It's you. Yeah. So we get 1.4 1. 1. there, right? Get 1.4 for our marble. How much does it cost our marble to buy here? 1.27. Now, the reason that it's such a good trade is because price per unit is 1.26, yeah, whereas the price to sell this unit is 1.4. So it's, it's literally worth us buying the marble in as it is 
much, much better. Uh, it's much cheaper, and if we wanted to, we could theoretically sell it on. Now, if we could find an... If we could take over an area that sells us wine, then that would be great. Because ideally, we want to be taking over... I guess taking over, uh, you know, city-states or whatever. Uh, sculpture Studio has finished completion. Uh, we need to address that, I believe. There we go. Fine, it will sort of shrink our trade balance, but that is that is what it is. Anyway, yeah, if we can find city-states that combo up, you know, in terms of the resources that they produce and the resources that we can sell to other city-states, then that would be very powerful indeed. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Momentary weakness. Athens is, is weak. Athens is our trade partner. So I don't want to uh, I don't want to mess them up. Why are we why are we trade partners with Athens if we're not actually buying anything from Athens? Could we make them an ally? Propose an alliance? They will not accept, regardless of their opinion of us. I suspect that that's probably because they've maxed out they've maxed out their uh, Yeah, their number of their number of allies. Our maximum amount of soldiers is 3,517. 3, is it time for war? You have got nothing. You've got nothing. You've got... Great. Great, 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 great. That means that we're getting more marble. Uh, because Apollonis or whatever it's called is, has grown. Anyway, I think that we should attack. We should attack over here. I think we want to. I don't think we're going to need to raise any troops take 31 days to arrive cost 101 drachmas to to make it work yeah i i don't think we need to call our ally i don't think that that's essential they have a maximum of 1200 troops truthfully i don't actually think that they will have that many troops but it's always better to be safe than sorry yep so they've got 400 less than us uh, because it's their because it's their city they're going to be attacking with uh a little bit more gusto than us. They will have a little bit more more uh, more morale. But we've got more troops. We've got, you know, we're rolling rolling higher higher rolls per turn, which is what really matters. Man, we're only going to lose a couple of soldiers, as it seems. This is good. This is very good news. We've lost only 200 soldiers. 300, 200 soldiers. 232 casualties, and the enemy took almost 500. So that's very, very good. Uh, we conquered it nice happy happy days um it's not great because it means that we can't sell property uh property uh, thingy pottery that's what i mean uh, and also administrative ability that is somewhat of a little bit of a problem we need to try and uh try and address that uh try and address that pretty soon i completely forgot that we uh that we that we needed to do that fine um, we can fortify. Let's fortify, sure. And then let's go about seeing how we can reduce our points by just a couple. In fact, what we can do is we can actually buy... I think we can actually buy two admin ability. We'll buy a third admin ability, actually, and continue investing in technology. There we go. Problem sorted. All you need is money. That is the answer to every problem. That's a philosophical statement for you there. Army has returned. Homeless philosopher. Welcome, 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 my, my good friend. You're the second homeless philosopher that I think that we've had <laughs> in this episode. But there we go. Um, yeah, so we've got the rural development uh, concept in place now, which is great. The four, plus four uh, development points in all of the villages, which means that we should, should just theoretically see growth go through the roof, really. Yeah, Apollonis is level 4. Marble is increasing slowly but surely. Ah, it's the same village. I was I was wondering, are there two Apollonises? Turns out there's not. There's just one. Uh, that's fine. You, man, we have got so much food. We have got so much food. It's it's really, really good. Um, our population size, right? Our population size, our city has a population of 15. I wonder what happens when we hit these sort of little benchmark things i i don't quite know i don't quite know at all uh 
So let's try and let's try and sort of bump it up, I guess. Let's try and bump it up. Um, what do we want? Do we want a townhouse? Oh, we can afford wool. We can afford. We can afford wool, and we can afford uh, olive oil. Well, technically, we can afford olive oil. Wood, full olive oil. Yeah. Okay. I want to. I want to build a townhouse. I want to build lots of townhouses. I think. Yep. Let's do it. I want to see what happens when my population goes beyond that little, uh, that line. And I'm not sure if this will get us past the line. That maybe seems to be about 20, and that's like 100, I guess. I, I don't know. I really have no idea what that, um, what that whole thing's, what that whole thing means for us. We'll have to see. Harsh words from the Oracle. Is it true what she said? Minus one respect. Also, can we build another admin center? I'm not actually sure that we can. I think that we can only build one. But even if we could, we can't exactly do it right now. Um, we're buying in two out of two pottery. We could buy one more, and I think we are actually going to. I do want to sell the wine to address the trade balance, but hey-ho. Uh, Corinthos. Let's see if we can get a trade deal with Corinthos. Where is Corinthos? Great question. I don't actually know. Nope. That's it's very close, but not, not what it is. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, hold on. Um, propose an alliance? Sure. Let's... Uh, oh, no. We need 87 thingy. Athens has got uh, no allies at the moment. However, I would just like to take a quick little look at the uh, sort of Greek mainland, as it were. Sparta is going crazy. Uh, Athens is being conquered by Brau Brauron, I do believe. So maybe Athens isn't the best ally that we could have right now. But it doesn't particularly matter, all things considered. Um, can I build another one of those their townhouses, please? There we go. Oh, that's... Doesn't, doesn't use space totally effectively. That's wound me up. Okay, we're on to 17. I want to see if we can hit uh, hit the fabled 18. Um, unsure trader. Sure. 25 build points. It's quite valuable, I guess. Uh, do we want to build a townhouse or do we want to build an average abode? Build an average abode, I guess, right? We'll be able to do it as soon as we get uh, a couple more points. Build an average abode. Can we build it out back here? Since it is only an average abode. Eh. Or, alternatively, alternatively, we can just build another townhouse. Now, the problem with building townhouses for days and days and days is that... We are going to have the slight problem of our monthly supply in olive oil is going to go down. Um, also, our supply of wool is going to start to decrease. However, there are a bunch of cities that actually make wool. And let's support that city temporarily. And hopefully it can grow by the time that we need, that we need wool. A city expands. Great! Plus one build points, plus one trade route, plus, one, plus five respects. Five, five respect and plus one state cost. Okay, so it turns out that that did actually uh, have the desired objective. Made things a little bit more expensive to run, but all things considered, it was kind of a nice upgrade, actually. And it gives us one more trade route uh, with which to play around with. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna what we're gonna try to trade. Ideally, we want to try and address our massive olive oil, um, massive olive oil uh, deficit. But that is going to be a problem for the next episode because that is it for now, ladies and gents. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Aubrey Potato. This has been Acropolis, the Archaic Age. I'll see you next time. Bye.